Hello friends, this video on how do organisms reproduce part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we will now discuss about the asexual reproduction in detail. What is asexual reproduction? Mode of reproduction in which new individuals are formed from a single parent. Right, I just now discussed. New individuals are identical to the parent because here there is no scope of variations, no new characters are observed in the new organism. It is a faster mode of reproduction. It happens very quickly. So now you will see how quick it happens when, when I start taking the different types of, when I start taking examples of different types of asexual reproduction, you will actually see that how fast it happens. There are sometimes it also happens that in a very small period of time, a lot of new organisms are produced, a lot of new individuals are formed. So it is definitely a faster mode of reproduction. So some of the organisms where asexual mode of reproduction actually happens is bacteria, amoeba, euglena. These are some of the unicellular organisms. There are some other lower animals like the hydra, planaria, tapeworms. So we have talked about all these organisms in our class 9th, right? In diversity in living organisms lesson. So there I have spoken about each of these organisms. So you, you must be familiar with these names by now. So these are some of the organisms uh, where we find asexual mode. So not only in animals but also in plants like rose, onion, potato. Here also we see that asexual mode of reproduction is prevalent. Let us now look at the different types of asexual reproduction. So even this type of reproduction also happens in many different ways. That means new organisms can be formed from the parent organism, from a single parent in many different ways. Now depending on how the new organism is getting produced, so the, this reproduction has been divided into several types. So they are fission, budding, regeneration, fragmentation, spore formation and vegetative propagation. So these are the six different types of asexual reproduction. So we will discuss about each of them in detail one by one and we will also take examples and see how actually each of these processes take place. So let us start with fission. Now what does the word fission means? Fission means splitting. So when something gets splitted, something breaks, that is called fission. So what is this fission actually? It is a mode of asexual reproduction where an organism splits to form two or more new individuals. Very simple, right? So the parent organism will split and it will form new organisms. So it is so very simple to produce new organisms here, right? So where do we see these kind of uh, mode of asexual reproduction? We see it generally in the very simple organisms like the unicellular organisms. Right? Now in this fission also, we have two types of fission. One is binary fission and the other one is multiple fission. So I am sure with the name only you can guess what are they. The word binary, binary means two. Right? The word binary means two. And the word multiple means many. So in binary fission, the organism splits to form two new individuals. And in multiple fission, the organism splits to form many new individuals, right? Now, this splitting can occur in a variety of ways. That means the, how the organism will split. That is the question now. So, whether it will split along a specific plane or it will split just anywhere. So, how will it split? Now, see, there are many possibilities. Some organisms split along any plane. Some other organisms split only along a specific plane. Some will split into two parts. Some will split into many parts. So it, it again depends. So let us discuss binary fission and multiple fission separately. So let us start with binary fission. So here two new individuals are formed. As I said, the word binary means two. So the organism will split into two equal halves. Here nucleus divides only once. So how the splitting will take place? We will just see 
It happens in unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium, euglena and bacteria. So mostly the unicellular organisms, they undergo fission. So these are the organisms, bacteria, amoeba, euglena. Now let us look at the binary fission of an amoeba in detail. So this picture actually shows the detailed process of binary fission. So this was the amoeba, original amoeba. So when it has to produce new organism, what happens? It, it gets flattened. If you look at, this is the nucleus of the amoeba, right? So this is the nucleus. The nucleus is flattened here. Gradually, the nucleus divides into two. So two nucleus. Now after the nucleus divides, the cytoplasm also divides because a nucleus alone cannot survive, right? The nucleus needs the entire cellular apparatus. It needs the cytoplasm. It needs the organelles. So after the nucleus divides into two, the cytoplasm also divides and finally it splits into two daughter organisms. So two amoeba are formed, right? So here, how did the splitting happen? Here, the splitting just happened along any plane. So there was no specific plane along which the amoeba was split. The amoeba gets split along any plane, right? So here, one another important thing to notice here is that once the fission has happened, the parent do not exist anymore because the parent itself broke into two parts, right? So one of these daughter organisms is actually the parent. The parent itself broke. So once the fission is done, the parent finishes because parent itself breaks to form the daughters. And how many times the nucleus divided itself? Just once. So this was the step where the nucleus divided. So that's why it was told that the nucleus divides only once. Right? And this kind of fission happens under favorable conditions. It is not that the amoeba will, uh, I mean, when will the amoeba decide to undergo binary fission? So when the conditions are favorable. So under that condition, it will get split. Now, other than amoeba, there are other organisms also where splitting happens along a specific plane. Like as an amoeba, I told you that the fission, the fission or the splitting can happen along any plane. But let us look at another example of Lishmania. So let us look at Lishmania. This is how it looks. Lishmania structure is a little similar to Euglena where it has a whip-like structure. So this is the whip-like structure. This is Lishmania. What is Lishmania actually? It is a protozoa which is responsible for causing the disease Kalazar. Right? So I think now you are reminded of what it is. Now, if you look at this Lishmania, this also undergoes binary fission. But in this case, the fission always happens along a specific plane. And what is that plane? It always happens along a longitudinal plane relative to the whip-like structure. So this tail-like structure which you see, this is known as the whip. So this, relative to this plane, which is the longitudinal plane, this is the longitudinal plane. So that is why if you see here how the fission is happening, the nucleus divided into two parts in this fashion. So now it will get separated into two different organisms. So this will be one organism and this will be another organism. Right? So in case of certain organisms, the binary fission happens along a specific plane. Whereas in case of certain other organisms like amoeba, the fission can happen along any plane. So binary fission is clear now? Okay. Let us look at multiple fission. Now the concept still remains the same. Just that in this case, the number of organisms which are produced are many. So here many new individuals are formed. Nucleus divides repeatedly, not just once, because when the nucleus divides once, how many nucleus will be formed? Two nuclei will be formed. Now, when the nuclei keeps on dividing again and again, how many nuclei will be formed? Many nuclei will be formed, right? So, in multiple fission, the nucleus keeps on dividing repeatedly, and that is why many organisms are formed. It takes place under unfavorable conditions. So this is an important difference between binary fission 
and multiple fission. Binary fission happens under favorable condition whenever that organism wants. But in case of multiple fission, it happens during the unfavorable conditions. That means when the conditions or when the environmental conditions around that organism is not good, what happens? For protection against the unfavorable conditions, a covering is formed outside that organism and that covering is known as cyst. So what is cyst? It is nothing but a protective covering to save the organism from unfavorable conditions. And inside the cyst, the nucleus keeps on dividing so many times. Therefore, inside the cyst, many nuclei are formed. Now, when the unfavorable conditions go and the favorable conditions come back, this protective covering, the cyst, breaks. And when the cyst breaks, all the nuclei which are present inside the cyst, they come out. And as a result, many daughter organisms are formed. So, it happens in... Organisms like amoeba, plasmodium, in many algae as well. So you see amoeba undergoes binary fission as well. Amoeba undergoes multiple fission also. So in favorable conditions, it undergoes binary fission. Under unfavorable conditions, it undergoes multiple fission. What is plasmodium? It is the parasite which is responsible for the disease malaria, right? So here you can see the plasmodium parasite. This is how they look like. So let us understand the process even more clearly taking example of plasmodium. Let us suppose if this is a plasmodium, okay. So this is how it is in favorable conditions, right. Now when unfavorable conditions come, a protective covering is formed around the plasmodium. This protective covering is known as the cyst, right. Now inside this cyst, the nucleus keeps dividing many number of times. As a result, earlier there was just one nucleus. Now there are so many nuclei inside. So as long as, so greater the amount of time for which the unfavorable conditions persist, more is the number of nuclei which are formed inside. Because as long as the cyst is formed, the inside, the nucleus keeps on dividing. So more and more nuclei are formed. Now, once the unfavorable conditions go and the favorable conditions return, what will happen? This protective covering will break. So, the cyst will break and all these nuclei will be released. Now, each of these nuclei along with the cytoplasm will form, the, form a new plasmodium. So, from one plasmodium, you started with one plasmodium and you got so many plasmodium. Right? So, this is the concept of multiple fission. So now if I ask you, is there any difference between binary fission and multiple fission? Majorly there are two differences. First is in binary fission, two new individuals are formed. In multiple fission, many new individuals are formed. Second is in binary fission, it happens under favorable conditions. Multiple fission happens under unfavorable conditions. So that was all about fission. Thank you. Please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.